Right now, uh, the two available PCSK9 inhibitors, Proluent and Repatha, are only FDA approved as adjunct treatment to a statin. So you are generally going to be adding a PCSK9 inhibitor onto existing statin therapy. Uh, it's going to be really on a case-by-case -case basis with individual patients uh, to determine when that change will occur, when that addition will occur. Uh, that's based upon the fact that there's a bit of a controversy right now within clinical guidelines. Um, it's still unclear which patients uh, are going to be best candidates for treatment, so it's really going to be up to the individual practitioners, cardiologists, to determine when to use these drugs. Now, another scenario is if a patient cannot take a statin, which is a little bit more complicated. Uh, statin intolerance doesn't really have a clear definition. We found that some patients can't take one statin but can take another or can take an alternative dosing strategy such as every other day or three times weekly. Uh, in clinical trials, they usually define statin intolerance as a failure of two uh, statins, including one at the lowest dose. Therefore, I think that you know, if a patient has had an adverse reaction to at least two statins, it might be a reasonable time to consider therapy with a PCSK9 inhibitor.